your eyes say it's a ghost. But your brain is lying to you. The most terrifying hauntings don't come from the dead. But from the living mind. Tonight we expose the trick your brain plays when the lights go out. It's late and the house is quiet. You think you're alone? You get up for water, floorboards creaking beneath you. Moonlight slices across the hallway. At the edge of your vision a dark shape by the doorway. Taller than the coat rack. Darker than the shadows. Your heart pounds. You freeze. Is somebody there? Trying to make sense of it. Your mind races. Trick of the light. Pile of clothes. But the shape doesn't move, it seems to watch you. Every sound is amplified. The fridge hums. The clock ticks like footsteps. A chill runs down your spine. This is the ancient feeling of being watched. You're caught between two worlds. Logic and possibility. You take a hesitant step, reaching for the light switch. Rationally, you know there's an explanation. But a deeper instinct prepares you to run or fight. This is how ghost stories begin. You flick the switch. Light floods the hallway, the shadow vanishes. It's just your old winter coat. You exhale. Feeling foolish. But the fear was real. The image of the figure lingers in your mind. You get your water and hurry back to bed. But as you lie in the dark, the feeling remains. What did you really see? Why did it feel so real? The mind's power to conjure fear is undeniable. Even when the threat is gone, the story stays with you. The hallway is empty, but your imagination is not. Shadows become stories and stories become memories. The night is quiet again, but you're changed. The next time you see a shadow, you'll remember this moment. Was it just a coat or something more? Sometimes the scariest things are the ones we create ourselves. That hallway experience isn't rare. Many people see figures in the dark or hear strange noises at night. But are these really ghosts or is something else at work? The answer lies inside our own heads. Our brains constantly interpret limited ambiguous information. Especially in the dark. At night, our senses are dulled, the brain fills in gaps, often with what it expects or fears. Seeing a ghost is usually the result of how our brain processes incomplete data. Not madness, just the brain doing its job. We'll explore the science behind these ghostly experiences. Why our brains see patterns and threats. How fear changes perception. And what brain activity makes us feel watched. Understanding the brain doesn't make these moments less fascinating. In fact, it reveals how powerful and creative our minds are. So next time you see a shadow or hear a noise, remember it might be your brain, not a ghost. The real ghost in the machine is your own mind. By understanding it, we unlock one of humanity's oldest mysteries. Why do we see ghosts? What do these visions reveal about us? This isn't a supernatural story. It's a story about the natural wonders of our brains. The mystery is inside us. And that's what makes it so compelling. To understand why we see ghosts, let's go back thousands of years. Our ancestors lived in a world full of real dangers. Predators lurking in the dark. Survival meant being alert to every sound and shadow. Imagine two early humans. One ignores a noise, the other prepares for danger. The cautious one survives and passes on their genes. 
over generations? Our brains evolved to assume the worst in uncertain situations. This threat detection system is always running. Especially when our senses are limited. In darkness or fog, the brain fills in gaps with possible threats. It's safer to mistake a shadow for a predator than the other way around. Today we don't fear saber-toothed cats. But our brains haven't caught up. In a quiet house at night, that ancient system kicks in. A creak becomes a footstep. A coat becomes a figure. The ghost in the hallway is the echo of an ancient predator. Our brains are wired for survival, not accuracy. The fear we feel is a survival tool from a more dangerous world. Even in safety, our minds remain vigilant. Shadows trigger instincts older than civilization. The ghosts we see are products of evolution. They're reminders of a time when fear kept us alive. Ever seen a face in the clouds or a figure in the dark? That's pareidolia. Our brains are wired to find patterns, especially faces, even in random shapes. This skill helped our ancestors spot friends or foes quickly. The fusiform gyrus, our facial recognition center, is so eager it sometimes finds faces where none exist. In darkness, our eyes send fuzzy signals. The brain fills in the blanks with familiar shapes. Shadows and light become people standing in the corner. Most ghost sightings describe human-like figures. Classic pareidolia at work. The brain isn't hallucinating. It's misinterpreting. It's doing what it's designed to do. Find meaning in chaos. In the dark, the raw material is poor so the brain gets creative. Ghosts are masterpieces of our mind's pattern seeking. We see what we expect or fear to see. The result? A shadow becomes a story. Our brains turn uncertainty into haunting images. Back in the hallway you see a shape. Your brain interprets it as a person. Instantly your fear response kicks in. Adrenaline surges, heart races, senses sharpen. The fight or flight system takes over. Preparing you for action. Rational thought fades. The emotional brain is in charge. Tunnel vision sets in. Every detail about the figure is magnified. You're primed to expect the worst. Ordinary sounds become sinister. A draft feels like a ghostly touch. Your brain searches for evidence to confirm its fear. Confirmation bias. Fear and perception feed each other, creating a feedback loop. That's why ghostly encounters often involve cold spots, noises, and dread. These aren't separate supernatural events. They're products of the same fear response. A draft feels colder, dread intensifies, and every sense is on high alert. Fear doesn't just make you see ghosts. It creates the entire haunted experience. The mind wraps a simple misperception in a tapestry of terror. The haunted feeling is real. Even if the ghost isn't. Our bodies and brains work together to turn shadows into stories. Sometimes, a ghostly encounter is just a powerful sense that someone else is in the room. Neuroscience points to the temporal parietal junction, TPJ, which helps us distinguish ourselves from others. Stimulating the TPJ can create the feeling of a presence nearby. Your brain generates a phantom double. This isn't a conscious thought. It's a raw perception. Brain injuries. Epilepsy. Or stress can trigger the same sensation. Sleep paralysis is another culprit. You wake up unable to move, often sensing a menacing presence. The mind, caught between dreaming and waking, fills the room with imagined threats. These experiences are terrifying, but they're tricks of the brain, not visits from the beyond. 
The feeling is real, but the ghost is a creation of your mind. Science explains how we see ghosts, but not always why they matter. Ghostly encounters are often deeply personal. Many see loved ones they've lost. These bereavement hallucinations are common and not signs of illness. Grief rewires the brain, activating powerful memories and expectations. In moments of vulnerability, the brain can project these memories onto reality. A fleeting image. These are the brain's way of coping with loss. Memory, emotion, and perception blend, creating vivid experiences of presence. Seeing a loved one's ghost is the mind's way of expressing connection and longing. It's not a message from the dead, but from our own hearts. These visions can comfort, reassure, and help us heal. The people we lose live on in the architecture of our memories. If ghosts are brain tricks, why do we love ghost stories? They help us confront our deepest fears, especially death. The idea of life after death is comforting, even in scary tales. Ghost stories offer hope that something persists beyond the grave. They also serve as moral lessons. Restless spirits seek justice, warning us that actions have consequences. Finally, ghost stories reconnect us with mystery and wonder. In a world where most things are explained, they remind us of the unknown. They let us believe, for a moment, that the world is stranger than it seems. Our fascination with ghosts is about hope, morality. The need for mystery is part of being human. Ghost stories are ancient, older than writing itself. They've been told around fires and written in the earliest texts. The details change, but the core remains. A presence, a noise, a fleeting glimpse. These stories help us explore fear and the unknown in a safe way. They connect us to history and to each other. Seeing a ghost is rooted in evolution and emotion. A trick of the mind and the light. Knowing the science doesn't make the experience less meaningful. The real mystery is inside our minds. The brain is the most complex thing in the universe. Next time you see a shadow, remember you're glimpsing your own mind at work. You're not crazy, you're human. You're part of an ancient tradition of finding patterns in the dark. These stories aren't just about the dead, they're about us, our fears, and our search for meaning.